Good afternoon, everyone, our friends who follow the second world meeting of Jesus Friends with Chico Xavier and his Christian Spiritist work. We are talking now straight from the city of Torres, which is the north coast of Rio Grande do Sul. And it is with such big pleasure and joy that we contribute to this work. Because even not having met, not having the opportunity of meeting Chico in person, from the time when we became spiritists, we started to read a little bit of this immense work of Chico Xavier. From the time we start to listen his interviews, such as being a folk and many others, from the time when we start reading the biographies about Chico, the wonderful stories of this unique spirit, from the time we start listening to interview and many other meetings of the friends who contributed with Chico and his institutions who lived, who shared of the life, of this loving life of Chico for few or many years, but important years of Chico's life, we start to bring a kind, a kindness that became a love. Because for us, Chico, for us who did not have met him in person, we start even not understanding standing completely Chico Xavier, because this is extremely difficult within the evolution where we are now. But we start to see a little bit of what perhaps would be living with Jesus, living with these apostles who followed him. Of course, Chico was one of the apostles who followed the Master and this presence, yet not physical, remains spiritually, spilling over us this joy, this wish of doing, of working, of changing. Because Shiku showed us that beyond the world being so difficult, the privations, the diseases and difficulties, when there is love, Everything is possible. Shiku delivered his life to Jesus. Shiku gave his life to the Spiritist doctrine, and we are eternally grateful because of him. And we are here today because of him. Studying the Spiritist doctrine, looking forward to work in our spirits even yet very constant, yet with many difficulties. But this kindness of Chico Xavier, we see the way, we meet the way to Jesus, towards Jesus. The theme of the second meeting is the healing of the soul, the real healing by Chico Xavier. In this moment where humanity is fighting internally, where the human spirit during this planetary transition time finds it finds in a very difficult moment of many tension much tension in a psychic seesaw with su such a fight with longer moments of many me melancholy as the gospel according to the spirit is said intense depression periods sometimes very long because the human spirit has had difficulties to do what it is needed to be done. Because the world, the material world, does not offer the remedy, the real cure that it needs. Today, we have many, several thousands of protocols to the sufferers. We have remedies that relieve our pains, our depressions, our anxieties. We have treatments, homeopathic treatments, and we have allopathic treatments. We have 
techniques, alternative techniques. We have a little of everything, and everything helps, and everything is important. However, we should not wait the treatment to come from outside to inside when Jesus expects from, from us a, a changing from inside to outside, when the cure would be found from this revol internal revolution, which should be done in each one of us and consequently in the society in our family, in the people who live with us. We bring with us great difficulties from the past. Naturally, we have many achievements as well. Of course, we have lived experiences and we got to overcome them. We evoluted in many points, but we still have some tracks of pain, of guilt, of being guilty of remorse and time, lost time. In reincarnating, we come to our physical body, we, we come to ourselves, we bring these experiences, this unhappy, with bring, we come with us to work as impulse and not as an anchor in our reincarnation. Many times we we stop and we, we get stuck in the pain and suffering and we forgot this example such as Shiku that beyond of all the pains and privations showed that this is possible. There is a chapter of the book uh, Live Fountain by the Spirit of Emmanuel by the psychography of Shiku in the 46th chapter that says, are you sick? And in the Are You Sick, it says all the human cre creatures, they get sick. All of us get sick, all of us. This is natural. This is from the human being. However, it's rare the ones who mention the real cure. We get sick, but we want to have the, the cure from the outside, but it's a temporary cure. Simply for us not to feel that anymore but we try not to we don't try to understand why that is happening to us in which way we can deal with that in what about if it comes again what if it comes again from my spirit from my mind if that experience repeats during my life how will i deal with this experience will i suffer again will i face everything again that i faced in the past or I could, I can transform my life, taking a new way. The pill helps, says Emmanuel. The, the, the injection helps, the shot injection. However, we should never forget that the real bad come from the heart. The real pains come from ourselves and not from other people, not from the world. We choose to suffer because many times we choose not to do, not to change. The, the mind, says Emmanuel, is the create, creator source, even for good things or for bad things, even for health or for illnesses, diseases, the life, little by little, says Emmanuel, comes inside us around us and around our steps, what we want. What we, we want. And many times our will is suffering, is remaining in the suffering. And this means keeping the inners, spiritual inners that many times condition us long to the many reincarnations. But why is that? Why do we bring so many bad things in our heart? Are we so bad yet? Have we committed so many crimes in our past, an ex-past? 
in our dark past? Are we still being very unfortunate spirits and so inferior or we simply did not learn how to deal with that who are around us we did not learn how to do what with what we have and we direct badly our energies in the book action and reaction the druid who guides the work by the psychography of Chico through the André Luiz spirit. So they have André Luiz and Druze to visit a place where they, there is a treatment of spirits who are getting ready to reincarnation. They get getting in that place. They observe in many about 200 spirits. 200 spirits which in which two-thirds of them would show facial changes, deformities, representing and presenting in their fa on their faces the sadness, the guilty, the remorse, the unhappiness they would they bring reflecting in their on their faces. And this impresses André Luis. Druzu says that those were spirits who were wrong. They were wrong because of the, in the many ways, because they were looking for treatment there. They were trying to understand and plan a future to join new opportunities, to conduct especially the opportunities in a way, in a very balanced way, loving way. Don't we still have love? Do we still... Are we still bad from the bad we, we still have? And Druze answers to André Luiz, commenting that almost always it's more for the love that we go, we go through many mazes uh, regarding to the law from the bad. We have been suffering this reincarnation by the love that was bad conducted, by the love that was bad interpreted. Of course, we have debts from the past, but when we have the opportunity in this life to do something good of loving, how do we conduct this, our love? How are we conducting our family life? How are we conducting our life with our parents, our relatives, our spouses, our kids, grandparents, our parents, our spirit people, our fellows in, uh, in walking inside our, within our work or our city in our social life? In which way are we contributing? for our love to transform or maybe we will transform our love in a source of decreasing for many people. In this work, uh, uh, Mother seeks for Druzu very sad, saying that the sun would, was in a very unhappy region and in this region the mom was seeking but he couldn't realize her, he, could, he couldn't see her because he was in different moments but she would bring inside us this this goodness because she was very rich in the past and she had conducted her kids for a very bad life materialist life in where it made the this the son of her to get lost to deviate from life and ending up losing his life before the proper time dying and he was she was feeling guilty she loved him so much but she hadn't learned how to conduct this love in in a disciplined way in an adequate way for this increasing of this soul that was waiting in her maybe in a 
not so necessary to win himself. In the Gospel of John, in the chapter 21, there is a passage, a verse of the Pascha Milagros, po post the death of Jesus, when she says, when he was got, went back to Capernaum and he was going to fish on the boat and said, I, I'm not fishing anything. They observed Jesus and there was a man who said, there was a man that they find out it was Jesus and he ordered them to, to throw the nets to the left side, right side. And Emmanuel says that we have thrown our nets. This soul throws the, the nets in the, to the left side. And it represents the material values, the matter, the sensations, the, the seek for having, for acquiring, for building. But it, they only fish something representatively speaking when Jesus guides them to throw the net on the right side that represents the spiritual values. And there they harvest, they fish, they bring to inside their boat, inside their soul, these values. The values that Jesus recommend them, that Chico showed in the patience, in the discipline, in the love, from the work, in charity, from this, the posture in front of the ones who were wrong of for forgiving, but also teaching, of being a teacher, of defending the Spiritist doctrine, of clarifying, consoling, without harming people, respecting the moment of each person, conducting all the love that he had for the ones who would look for him. In the book Between the Earth and the Heaven, also a psychography of Chico, having through the André Luiz spirit, we see, we have a sentence of the Sister Clara, who says a little bit about these issues that we have inside us. Sister Clara says that our life Life can be compared to a great course, educative course. For in each experience, when we return, is a class, is a year in our life. So it's a course, a course of improvement, working of reincarnation to get improved in many points, aspects that we, we still that is still not having in pr previous reincarnations. One will do something, other other things. One will face a um, more difficult family. Other will need to reincarnate in the in the past enemy. The other one will work in the health area or this or that area, or any other kind of job that could be have used to contribute to friendship with the society for the mistakes that there were in the past. And so on. So our life is compared to this great educative course in many innumerable classes, according to Clara. We give and we receive. We help and we are helped. Sister Clara explains to Anne that nobody evolutes alone. Yet we want, we depend on one on the other. We support and we are supported. We need from other support because alone we won't try, we won't, we won't experience the reality of life. Nobody will deal with jealously if there is not a relationship or a mom or dad, nobody will deal with vanity if it doesn't come, does not see in this or that body. Nobody will deal with pride if not face different experiences that would touch this point that they still not be able to conduct. So life is a big school. 
but not always. We understand and we learn the lesson. Maybe in the biggest part we don't understand, we did not learn the lesson that life offers us, the, the proofs of every day. We complain of the, the problems we face, of the difficulties we face, the temptations, of the necessities of readjusting that the divine justice offers us. It doesn't impose us, it offers us. Because it offers us for us to be able to be polite and well-educated. And we go through very happy seeing the physical life. And seeing the experiences, happy with the experiences. And even though when with the, the Spiritist doctrine, not realizing what really is important without realizing what in fact it is important what in fact modifies what in fact will is worthy for the spirit what that's what shiku uh, showed as an example what is really important is loving is living with love in the chapter of the God, John gospel after the miracle fishing come they walk with Jesus Peter and John and John a little backwards and Peter by the side of Jesus he was very sad very down because of the experience he had had of leaving abandoning Jesus he who had said for many times from more than two years of living then he would never leave Jesus. Fragile world man, says Humberto de Campos. But fragile, more fragile than perverse. And he was following Jesus. And Jesus walking with him asks him the, the, the important question, Peter, do you love me? And Peter answers, of course I do, Lord. So take care of my sheep. Peter, repeat the second time. Peter, do you love me? Of course I do. So, take care of my sheep. And he repeats a third time, Jesus to Peter. Peter, do you love me? Of course I do love you, Lord. So, take care of my sheep. Many people can observe this event as if Jesus, maybe Peter himself have have thought on that time, Jesus asks me three times because I denied him three times. But Emmanuel tells us through Chico's psychography that no, Jesus just asked Peter if he had love. If he had love because with love he knew that with love he could do anything. But with a love not that love that Drusus says in the Action and Reaction book. With a true love that frees, aids, a love that allows everyone to be who they are. Not a love that binds, not a misinterpreted or misconducted love. A love that allows to everyone. Chico welcomed everyone, murderers and thieves, every kind of people, every kind of mistaken brothers and sisters. But even then, he welcomed them with great charity and conducted them to good, to love. Reflecting Jesus' image that welcomed all of those who asked who went after him and he, he preferred to be with those who suffered the most, with those who needed the most, with those that needed a doctor, those who need, who had some soul sicknesses, soul sick, sick people who were all of us, all of us that who were still 
those who, of us who didn't understand the necessity of working, the necessity of loving, 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 and loving, as Jesus said to Peter. And John, just listening. <laughs> John, who was Chico, on the back, listening. He who followed, who followed Jesus, who had been with Jesus on, on the cross by Mary's side, going to Ephesus after that. He who had been the loyal disciple is still the loyal disciple forever. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 5, there is a beautiful event that tells us uh, this chapter is also in Matthew, Mark and Luke. Mark and Luke bring more elements to our study. Mark says that he was in a house, in the house where he lived in, in Capernaum. And probably it was Simon Peter's house, which is the place he was when he was there. Luke said he was in a house. But anyway, returning to Capernaum, Luke tells us, and Marcus as well, that Jesus was there. And the house was full. And uh, he had performed many cures through the powers of his soul his great soul, the soul that was Jesus, through his food that poured, upon, poured out upon people. He aided so many that the house was full. Pharisees, Tanakh students, those who chased him, all of them were there, not only to see that if Jesus would fall into contradiction himself, but also to listen, because within themselves, they were delighted with this, the wisdom and knowledge of the Master of the Masters. All of them were there. And the house was really full. People on the streets. So, there's a man who was unable to walk in Capernaum. He wanted to see Jesus. To, who knows? be with him to be healed him as well he had a will to be cured as well as we had the will to improve the will to to heal our wounds our evils to relieve our hearts maybe we spent so many weeks with a weighted heart in suffering thinking about things that will never happen thinking about unhappinesses, going through the registers of our soul, our spiritual trash, of prior experiences, even from this life, right? Experiences that we go over and over, like people who love suffering, because we live again unhappy experiences, and our pure spirit is so perfect and our soul is so clear that when we live that when we think again we live again the experience and we feel all of that we felt on that moment and we suffer we suffer again and this man did not want to feel like that he looked and he was after the cure of his physical illnesses. But we spiritists, we know that all the physical sicknesses come from the spirit, from the soul, from our soul. Do you remember Emmanuel that we mentioned before, chapter 86? The mind is the creative source. The soul is the creative source. So, he wanted to heal the physical body, right? But he ought to heal the soul, because this soul is the source of joys and sicknesses. The medicine helps, like Amenel said. 
the needle helps, but the very true evils come from the heart. They come from within ourselves. We are the creators of the health and sicknesses we have. Once again, like we mentioned before. And this man, he was looking after, but he didn't have any way to go to Jesus. But he had friends. He had friends. Look at the importance of friends, of having friends, the collaboration. The friends of Jesus, the friends of Chico Xavier, from Chico Xavier, friend of Jesus. The importance of friends. Friends who aid us, teach us, support us in our bad, bad moments. And then him with these friends, he's taken, carried on a bed, and he's taken to the place where Jesus was. And in a house, a small house, Simon Peter's house, in the, at the margins of the Galilean Sea. And there are those friends who for sure had faith. And if he didn't have faith, if he didn't have faith in Jesus, they had faith in the other, in the human soul. They had faith in that one, that one who wanted. And even though he didn't agree every time with the other, he helped anyway. They helped. I don't know if all of those who who took that man in search of Jesus, if all of them agreed that he would find the cure. Maybe one of them have said, oh, well, maybe, maybe but I don't know if Jesus can cure you, but as you want it, then I'm your friend, I will help you. As you, since you want it, since you need, I will be available, even though I don't believe it, even though I don't believe in what you believe, even though I do not accept everything you were doing in your life. I am here, available to you. I'm available to you. And then they take this man, but when they come near the house, the house was really crowded, full of people. They go around and around, they go around, they observe that there was no way for them to take this man to Jesus. And what sadness, what suffering, maybe a, a small dispiritedness, because he had so he had such a will to just see Jesus. He wanted to change him to change himself so much. What would he do? But he had an idea. What if we lift our friend? What if we could take him down through the roof? We don't know if this idea came from the friends or the sick man. It doesn't matter because it was the group that performed this cure. Jesus, <laughs> he just compliments it because as long as they performed this act, we could see that all of them have, have found themselves cured. They take the, their friend, take, taking each edge, sheltering this soul we need, sheltering themselves, because when we aid people, we are aided. Help yourself and heaven will help you. When they make themselves willing for someone else, oh, they're taken by joy. They're taken by a great joy in their souls because by seeing the joy, the happiness of the friend who was laying, helping, having a helping hand, they are enveloped by the love's flow. The love's flow that supports all of those who were in need, all of those who were suffering, all of those who are loving Jesus. And that 
what, that's what Jesus expects from us. And then they they climb the, the house's roof, they pull that man up, they take the tiles or the straw, which was back then the the covering the covering of the houses by the time, and they go that man down through the roof. It should have been such a beautiful image. Jesus, the apostles, maybe she come back there watching, observing, seeing that man going down through the roof. What a faith that man had in Jesus. What hope, but what faith that man had in his friends. What if he fell? What if he got hurt? What faith and what friends did he have? What huge souls that held together based on mutual work. Jesus, when he sent his disciples, he never sent them by themselves. He sent them in duels, in groups, because the, the love's support is when one of them do not have the hands, the other can be the hands of the of that one who doesn't have the eyes of those who can't see, the speech of those who can't speak anymore. Chico Xavier, he was the voice of those spirits in the spiritual plan. He was the hands of those who suffered. He was the medicine of those who were, who were sick. Chico. Chico was the advice of those who were lost, the solace of those who were suffering, the hug of those who felt themselves alone in the world, the letters, the solace, the care, the work, the direction. When Jesus saw that man, he said, stand up and go you're cured. He was cured maybe even before going down to Jesus because even though his physical body was not walking and that's what happens through Jesus, his soul, the man's soul was already was already transformed. What happiness, what joy, what happiness to get love from those friends what happiness of getting the, the the looks of those friends who looked at each other and felt the victory of collaborating with those who were in need to feel the victory shining on their souls and on the soul of that such a dear friend that for such a long time stayed on a bed stayed lying Hagen. What happiness, what joy for us to watch a brother who spent so much time in, this, in depression and we make ourselves available to help them. What happiness, what joy for from us to guide our brother, our sibling to the necessary aid of, the, of those who consider taking their own lives. What joy Jesus watching the celebration of those who understood the very real meaning of love, which is the love that aids and guides. In the many, many people who went to Chico Xavier and his friends, of those who went after their solace and clearance they didn't got they didn't get only solace not only the reading of a, of a letter psychographed by by Chico no they didn't get not only from Chico's hands a medicine a food a coat they didn't get not only a hug a care 
and the conduction. All of Chico's friends and those mothers who suffered so much the loss of their children, the disembodiment of their beloved ones, they got from Chico a recommendation, which is the Jesus recommendation, which is what we observe in this chapter 5 from Lucas, from the hands that support, raise and cure. Because through Chico's recommendation, we started to, we started all of those who, who listened and us who heard these stories, especially those who were there, we started to create institutions, church institutions. The mothers who, lo who lose their children, they created orphanages. The fathers who lost their children in, accident, in car accidents, they started to, to work with traffic education. Those who suffered from cancer, who lost, who lost their child, they started to contribute to hospitals to help those in need. All of them made the work of Friends of Chico Xavier. All of them are Chico Xavier's friends. All of those who work towards humanity. All of those who, from their example, perseverance, their advice, Chico's advice, they started to exemplify a little, a little bit of what they, they lived, what they had millions and millions and many institutions were created many children were helped many people were taken from the suicide attempt many people did not starve nor freeze to death many people didn't throw themselves in despair or stayed in depression many people did not become spiritists because they were not because it was not the most important the most important and what jesus expected and shiku advised us was to follow the gospel if we became spiritists okay excellent but if not that we follow jesus that we work with in charity that we paid tribute to our disembodied helping those who were in need the most. The healing of Chico Xavier, the, the real healing is the cure based on work, on life examples, working for 92 years for Jesus since his birth and 75 with mediumship since the contribution to his friend with his family helping his brothers and sisters those those who spiritually needed the most we're eternally grateful for Chico's presence in our lives and our Brazil may you, we are these hands who lift our friends who take them to the roof so we can Take them, go, take them down through the roof to Jesus. May, may we are inspired by Jesus' friend, Chico, that our tangled hands can support our difficulties and the other people's difficulties. That united we are many, and many we are more. Let's direct our love. Let's do it like Chico did giving their, our lives with dignity, with care, love, perseverance, still guiding us and reminding us that the, big, the greatest of all is Jesus and that he, Chico, is an apostle. For us, a great apostle that represents the backbone of our life that represents the great love of our hearts. May Master Jesus can support all of us 
that we stay within our possibilities, we keep within our possibilities, spreading, propagating what she, what she could did, that we do not never let his word name and work. It's never forget button. May he look at look for us, pray for us. We, may he help us. We feel his presence today as ever because at Jesus' side he observes all of us with the care of usual it is with with goodwill.